How a Seismic Graph Works by Taryn Cullen. A seismograph is an instrument that scientists, seismologists, use to measure earthquakes. It writes the wavelength of, a se of seismic waves from an earthquake on paper. The earliest recorded device to record earthquakes was in 132 AD by Zhang Heng. His seismoscope showed the directions earthquakes were coming from. It was a cylinder with dragon heads on all sides. When an earthquake occurred, a seismic wave would knock a ball out of the dragon on the opposite side's mouth, which, la which landed in a small bowl. This shows the direction of the earthquake. It was a while before the next seismographs or seismographs were made. Most early seismographs were heavy pendulums with pens on the end. During an earthquake, the pendulum would keep it still while the earth was moving around it. Since the pendulum is still, the earth moves the paper back and forth and the pen writes on it. This shows the wavelengths. A motor pulled across a table. It would show the wavelengths over a period of time. This is the most common seismograph, but now scientists are using computers to then slide the waves and record them. They use electron magnets. A regular magnet is used for the mass, and the outside is covered with coils of fine wire. When the magnet moves, it sends small electrical signals to a computer which amplifies and then reads them. It then either records them on a paper or stores them in the computer's hard drive. Sometimes they can sense earthquakes that humans won't even feel. This is obviously more sensitive and accurate than other desi older designs. The most current seismograph originated from the team of John Milne, James Alfred E. Wing, and Thomas Gray, who used a seismograph that had a horizontal pendulum. It consisted of a pole and a triangle that's vertical edge was stuck to the side of the poles by its hinges. At the end of the triangle is a pen that writes in some paper. The hinges are also slightly tilted so the triangle tends to rest the center. This is slightly referred to the vertical pendulum because the vertical one sometimes can cough the paper as it is swinging. There are two pendulum types of seismic P waves, primary waves, and S waves, secondary waves. P waves are faster than S waves, so a seismograph that is recording wavelengths over a period of time will get some spurts when the P waves get to it and also when the S waves get to it. Differences in arrival times between the two waves will help us figure out the distance to the earthquake's epicenter of it. With three seismographs of different locations, we can plot circles on the seismographs. When all three circles intersect is where the epicenter is. With all that there, we can calculate the magnitude of the earthquake. The most common scale used to rate earthquakes is the Richter scale. Now you're recording on drums.